everyone, Dave here, and I am at PAX East with the one and only Jonathan Colton. How are you enjoying PAX so far, sir? Uh, so far, it's pretty great. I haven't, I haven't done a lot of fun things, but still, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Now, you uh, exploded onto the scene with Thing a Week originally. Uh, you just kept going at it. What moment was it that first made you realize, you know what, this is going to work. I can have a career at this. Oh, well, you, you know, there were a lot of moments like that where something would happen and I would say, oh, maybe it is possible. You know, the first one was probably Baby Got Back when I did that cover. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You are the brothers, can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face. That was early in Thing a Week, and when I did that, it just sort of went crazy overnight on the internet, and uh, it just bounced around to so many people, I was like, oh, this, I actually just accidentally reached a huge number of people, and uh, if I can do that a few more times, then maybe we can, maybe we can make something out of this. Well, now you're certainly uh, moving on, you now have a, uh, you're working on a new album uh, produced by They Might Be Giants with the full band and everything. Um, what are, like, what are the different challenges and advantages to, you know, working professionally produced with a full band versus recording them yourself in your home? Well, uh, you know, it's it's been an interesting process because I, um, you know, previously I just had complete control over everything that I did, but also complete responsibility for everything that I did. So, uh, you know, when I would approach a song and think about how I wanted to do it, I was limited by what I could play or, you know, what technical knowledge I had about this or that thing. And so now it's really nice that I'm in the studio with these pros, you know, and I can just say, can we do it this way? And they're like, yep, <laughs> you know, or or um, <clears throat> or sometimes I just sort of give over complete control to Flansburg, who's producing, and uh, I just give him the song, this is an acoustic version of the song, and he says, let's do it this way, and we try it, and it's, I, you know, it's fun it, to, to collaborate with people is really is really the new thing for me, and it's it's really enjoyable. Well, you've already, uh, some would say you've already taken over the land of geeky music, uh, so you now set your sights to the sea with uh, Joko Cruz Crazy. I know that was a cheesy segue, but... Works for me. <laughs> Where did that idea to do a cruise first come from, and how did the first person you tell that idea to react? Well, you know, uh, I, I, there have been a number of musicians who have done fan cruises so uh, you know I knew it was po bare naked ladies I remember hearing about their cruise long ago and thinking that's awesome you know um, and it was finally my my booking agent who sets up the shows for me normally said uh, it was sort of his push he said well let's let's do this I think we could get enough people that, to make it worth your while um, <clears throat> and um, you know the whole time we were planning it I was terrified that it wasn't gonna work that we were only gonna get you know 20 people or uh, or it was you know it was expensive and it was a big investment of people's time and money, so I was really worried about it, but it was just such a blast, and I think everybody had a great time. The performers had a great time, the audience had a great time, and um, it just had this incredible summer camp vibe, because we were all together doing the same things for a whole week on a giant ship, and it was just a great time. Okay, we are at a gaming convention, so I am obligated to ask this. Can you give us any Portal 2 spoilers? What do you think? That's what I thought, but I would be lynched if I didn't ask. So I can tell you, uh, I can tell you that it's awesome. That's not much of a spoiler, I know. Yeah, I think we all kind of expected that. Yeah, no, I've I have played the entire game, and it's 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 fantastic. I mean that you know, it's uh, no small task to live up to the first one because that was a great game. Uh, but I think they did a really great job, uh, and uh, people are gonna love it. Very nice. Finally, I just have to ask. You graduated from Yale. I'm from the New Haven area. Best New Haven pizza place. Oh, <clears throat> you know, uh, I know this is the Peppy Sally's debate, right? Well, you know, the thing with Peppy's and Sally's, they're both great. I I'm not sure if you gave me a taste test that I could tell the difference yeah. between them. So it's kind of academic. Also, the lines are so long. Oh, yeah. Recently, I went back to New Haven with a few friends, and uh, somebody made me go instead of to those places to a place called Moderna Pizza, and it was fantastic pizza, uh, and I would say easily the equal to both Sally's and Pepe's. So that's my new spot. All right. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us, and uh, tune in for more videos from PAX East. Visit JonathanColton.com for some amazing music, and we'll check in with you and the audience later. Sister, thanks very much. I can't resist her. Red beans.
friends and less didn't miss her Some knucklehead tried to diss Cause his girls are on my list He had game but he chose to hit them And I pulled 